On, on, the, on the lower left, we have the Milky Way, and on the upper right, we have the Andromeda Galaxy. The, uh, the year is up in the top left-hand corner. It's about 3.8 billion years in the future. So we simulated, just for the audience, we simulated from present day to 3.8 billion years from now. So this is not a time machine. I don't, I don't know what it is. Right? This is a perfect example of a time machine. And, and we, we, we've reached a moment where really interesting stuff starts to happen. The Andromeda Galaxy is heading towards us, and we are going to end up merging, not the first class, but later on. So this code is based on a thing called a tree code, where instead of interacting every body with every other body, we create this tree hierarchy of interactions. And we can see the hierarchy right here. This, this grid that you see is showing, with ever-increasing intensity, where we are focusing the compute power. And so each box is bracketing about 16 stars, and out of 280,000 stars, that makes an enormous number of boxes. And so we are using the dynamic parallelism that you just talked about to very efficiently prune out these boxes and generate this tree structure in a way that would not have been possible before. And you can see these beautiful swirls of stars just being flung around. There's a 50-50 there's a chance the sun's going to be out there and one of those just flung out of the galaxies. Wow. So in three and a half billion years, uh, we are going to collide with Andromeda. That's right. Um, it'll sweep past us, tear all these stars away, and come back for a little bit. So, so I guess the, the advice to the audience is to put our personal matters in, in order. <laughs> I guess in three and a half billion years, we, get, we, might, we might end up in a different galaxy. Yeah, now you know what's coming. Uh -huh. So, you know, watch out, guys. Get, 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 now, get, get one, now, one of the things that's, that's really curious is, is um, to me is uh, all these stars and all these, well, all these stars uh, on the outer fringes of the galaxy don't seem to be moving nearly as slowly as I would have expected. I mean, in the center where where there's greater mass, um, I would have expected the, the, the planets and the, and the stars to be rotating much more quickly and outside much more slowly. But why, why am I not seeing it? There's something wrong with the simulation. Um, so you've actually hit one of the great mysteries of astronomy. Um, based on exactly these kind of simulations and on observations of stars, they realize that the stars in our galaxy and every galaxy we can see are going way, way too fast. And without a good explanation for what this was, without good computer models to show it, they, were, they spent about 50, 60 years trying to figure it out. And finally, in models approximately this size, that we can now do in real time, um, they figured out that there is, in fact, only 10% of the matter in the galaxy is visible to us, and 90% of it is invisible dark matter that lives in a big halo around the outside of the galaxy, holding it together and driving that inner illuminated core. Ladies and gentlemen, we've identified dark matter. <laughs> I need someone out to issue a paper, write a paper quick.